What's up, guys? Crazy HD here. <clears throat> Today I'm bringing you guys a video on the story, uh, a story on the time I was uh, robbed at knife point. Um, so, as you guys may or may not know, um, those of you guys who have followed my channel for a while and watched a lot of my videos will know this. Uh, some of you will not, though. Um, I grew up in a bad neighborhood. Um, wasn't the worst, but uh, there's a few violent crimes a year. Uh, um, not really anything too bad though. There's usually like a like a non-fatal like some some like non-fatal stabbing or anything. It wasn't like like not that that's not bad, but like it's not like West Philly or North Philly or something uh, where drugs and uh, violence was a huge problem. Um, there was a problem. There's a lot of petty crime. Um, still a lot, is a lot of petty crime in that area. They would smash windshields, stuff like that. Um, very rarely it would happen that people would get their houses broken into and um, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a good neighborhood um, so um, anyway my, my mom until I was about 10 years old used to walk around with me and my friends for Halloween um, and then when we were 10 she was like all right you guys can go yourselves and um, you guys are old enough you can probably defend yourself so I was like okay cool like I get some freedom this year, and um, so we're going around, me and my friend Nick, and we're walking around my neighborhood, and we go to the firehouse, get all of our candy checked, and stuff like that, and um, we're walking back, and we're on this back street, and that was our first mistake, we're on a back street in a bad neighborhood at like 9 o'clock at night, and um, no street lights or anything, and uh, we had seen these kids following us, so we walked into a 7-Eleven, and we were like, okay, we'll just walk in here, act like we're getting stuff. We bought, like, Slurpees or something like that. Um, so we bought Slurpees and walked out. Well, little did we know that the kids were still following us. They waited for us. For us. So, um, we are about a block from my house at this point, and we're, we were just like, okay, we're just going to keep walking, because we, we eventually noticed that they were following us again. We, we were like, okay, we're going to keep walking. And then, like, four of them jumped out right in front of us and all had knives knives on them. And then we, t we just, like, turned around, but there was, like, four of them behind us. And then they, like, kind of made a, cir a big circle around us so we couldn't go anywhere. Uh, and they all had knives. And um, they, like, they were like, give us your candy. And we were, um, my friend was like... Okay, and he just hands them. Uh, we both handed them our candy, and then they were like, "Do you guys have any money on you?" And I was like, "No." And one of my friends, my friend was with me, and he was like, "Yeah, I do." And hands them the money he had on him, and um, they they went, they just went on their way and didn't try to hurt us or anything. But I was like, my my I told my parents, and they were like, "Are you serious? Like, it's really you're really the kids are really that lazy now that they have to rob." two ten-year-olds at knife point. And these are like 16-year-old kids, too. Like, they had to rob two ten-year-olds at knife point for candy. Um, so my parents just went out and bought me and my friend each an assorted bag of candies, and that was ours. Um, so, it, it was not really that scary, because, like, I, I kind of figured they weren't going to hurt us. They, they had done it. It had happened to one person every couple years, um, and most people didn't get hurt, so... Um, and my parents had always taught me, like, if, if the store is robbed or anything, if you're in a store and it's robbed, or if, if you're ever, like, getting robbed, just, um, do what the person says and don't, like, question them or anything. So, it was sound advice, because it worked, it kept me safe, I wasn't going to get stabbed over candy, it wasn't really worth it. So, um, and I actually, I haven't gone trick-or-treating since then, um, because it's just a bad memory, um. So, yeah, uh, so comment down below if you guys have any story like that, either you were robbed at knife point or you had your candy stolen or anything on Halloween. Figured I would post this considering how today is Halloween, so, um, just be careful out there everybody and, uh, stay safe, make sure you check your, all of your candy because, uh, we do find bad stuff every, in candy every once in a while, so, um, but yeah, be smart, be safe, and have a great Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on the description below. As always, guys, have a crazy HD. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride. See you guys later.